Hi guys, this is Miss Igo. Welcome to my classroom. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the TI-36X Pro Calculator to find the values of trig functions and their inverses. So the first thing we want to do is, say for example, if we're going to find the cosine of 30 degrees, we want to make sure that our calculator is in degree mode. So to check the mode of your calculator, just press the mode bu button, which is right by the second button, and make sure that degree is highlighted. So it is here. I can hit enter and then clear. And then right above, um, well, here are all your number keys. Above that is your fraction and your parentheses, and then above that are your trig functions. So we have sine, cosine, and tangent. And so when, if I wanna find the cosine of 30 degrees, I'll just press the cosine button and input 30. You can close the parentheses or not, it really doesn't matter, and then hit enter. And we see that the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of three over two. So that is in degrees. Say if I wanted to find something in radians, so let's do the cosine of square root, I mean, the cosine of pi over six, well, that's a radian measure. So again, I wanna go back to my mode and I can just scroll over to radians, hit enter to choose it, and then close out of that. Or I could have pressed second and quit. And I'm going to again press the cosine button. And then now I can use that fraction button that is right above the seven key and I can put in the pi symbol, which is right next to sine. Press it one time, and that gives me my pi. And then scroll down using the cursor, and then I'll put in six. And I'll use the cursor again to get out of the fraction and close my parentheses. And when I hit enter, I see that <clears throat> just like the cosine of 30 degrees was square root of three over two, we know that in radian measures, pi over six is the equivalent to 30 degrees. And so you see we get the same answer of square root of three over two. So we can do all these same things with all of our trig functions. If I wanted to find the sine of 30 degrees or the sine of pi over six, um, then I would just press sine instead of cosine. And again, make sure that you're in the correct mode. So I'm gonna switch it back to degree mode because my next example is gonna be in degrees. So again, I just choose it and I can either hit clear or second and quit to get out of the menu. And now let's look at something different. So here I have the cosecant of 30 degrees. Well, if you notice, the trig functions that we have are sine, cosine, and tangent on the calculator. We don't have a button for cosecant, but you should know that cosecant is the reciprocal um, of the sine function. So the way that we would put cosecant of 30 degrees in the calculator is one over the sine of 30 degrees. So I can just do, and I use my um, fraction button again, which is above the seven, and I do one, and then use my cursor to go down to the denominator and put sine of 30 degrees, and I get two. So of course we would do these same things for secant and cotangent. I would just do one over over the cosine of the value um, to find the secant. And I would do one over the tangent of the value um, to get cotangent. I can also use the TI-36X Pro to find the inverse functions. So say if I wanted to find cosine inverse of square root of three over two. So we should know that the cosine inverse of square root of three over two is 30 degrees because that's what we just did earlier is we found the cosine of 30 degrees and we got square root of three over two. So now finding the inverse just means that we're finding the angle whose, in this case, cosine is square root of three over two. 
So if you'll notice on each of those trig buttons, underneath the first function is the inverse function. So we have sine on the top and then underneath it, we have sine inverse. So because it's on the button and it's not blue above the button, we don't need to use that second key. We simply press the button twice. So if I wanna do cosine inverse, I use the cosine button. If I hit it one time, I get cosine. If I hit it twice, it goes to cosine inverse. And now I'm gonna put in the square root of three over two. So again, I'm gonna use my fraction key. And then I need to do that square root symbol. And since it's blue above the button, I'll press second and I'll press the um, square button because above it is the square root. And then I do three. And then I wanna go down to the denominator using the cursor, put two, and then use the cursor to get out of the fraction. And as we should um, know from what we did earlier, uh, we get 30 degrees. Again, we can use those inverse buttons for sine and tangent, just like we um, did with cosine by pressing the button twice. So now let's try to find the inverse of cosecant. So again, just like earlier, we didn't have, we don't have a button for cosecant. We don't have buttons for the um, reciprocal functions. So what we do here, or what you might think we would do here, would be the same as what we did earlier. So you might think that cosecant inverse of, in this case, two would equal one over sine inverse of two, but that is incorrect. That's not how we put it in the calculator in the TI-36X Pro. The way that we do it is we do, to find cos, um, cosecant inverse of two, we put sine inverse of, and then we just flip the value. We take the reciprocal of the value and we would do sine inverse of one half. So if I do sine inverse, again, I'm just gonna press that trig function button twice. Once would be sine, press it again, we get sine inverse. And then I'm gonna put in one half, one over two, and I get 30 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you tell your classmates. And thank you for watching.